Christmas parade scheduled for Easter Sunday has been rerouted to avoid passing the spot where a Catholic priest was spat on last year. Canon Tom White was assaulted outside St. Alphonsus Church in Glasgow during the annual Orange Order Boyne March in July. Police said they had received intelligence that counter-protests were planned for this Sunday's march by the Apprentice Boys of Derry. After considering the application, Glasgow City Council confirmed it would be rerouted. Well, joining us now in the studio, we have Jeanette Finley from Call It Out, the Call It Out campaign. Um, first of all to you, um, can I ask, you, um, you campaigned and lobbied against this planned march. Um, what is your reaction to today's news? We don't campaign against the march, we campaigned for it to be rerouted. We don't want marches banned. We simply don't want them to pass Catholic churches if they're anti-Catholic in nature, which the loyal orders are. So we're delighted, and this is an enormous relief. It's like a huge weight has been lifted off the parish parishioners of St Mary's and St Alphonsus. They'll now be able to go about their, uh, their religious duties on Easter Sunday, the most important day in the um, Christian calendar, without the worry of having anti-Catholic marchers uh, going past their churches. So we're delighted about that. Shouldn't people be able to march where they want in Scotland? Well, they should be able to march. They should not be able to march where they want. Nobody's allowed to march where they want. And this is really only a very minor reroute. Uh, the organisation had asked for a particular route. This route takes them a very minor, but two streets of difference. So I think this is a very rational and sensible decision because what it does is it upholds the rights of the loyal orders to march, which we support. Uh, and it also protects our community from anti-Catholic abuse and we think that suits the needs of everybody. The police said today, um, that, sorry, the police's submission to, to the council said, you know, they were worried about the counter-protests, not the march. Um, so, you know, ha had these counter-protests not been organised, couldn't this just have passed without any kind of event? Well, first of all, the police were not referring to the counter-protests which have been organised by Call It Out, all of which have been uh, extremely peaceful, and the police, I think, would confirm that to you. So it's, that's nothing to do with us, and obviously we don't know what intelligence the police ha had. But those marches don't pass without incident, when the, because it, these marches have been going on throughout all of my lifetime and long before. Um, it went past with a counter-protest. There was a counter-protest there. We were there. I, I'd like uh, to sorry, can I, can I finish? For all of my lifetime, and there have been numerous priests assaulted, church buildings vandalised, uh, parishioners scandalised, abused. So the idea that these things pass without incident is, is simply not true. But can I just be very clear, Call It Out has had a number of very peaceful protests, and I think the police will confirm that to you. Okay, I'd like to bring at this point James McLean, who's the past president of the Apprentice Boys of Derry and the executive officer of the Orange Order. He's in our Edinburgh studio. Um, James, just, just briefly, what do you make of today's decision? Today's decision is a scandal, but first of all, could I correct just a statement? I'm not the executive officer of the Orange Order. That's another gentleman with the same surname, but we're not, not related. I'm speaking for the Apprentice Boys of Derry, and we deplore today's decision to reroute the, the march away from a particular a, a locus because groups like the organisation that Ms Finlay represents are threatening to have counter-protests. Now, people are perfectly entitled to protest, but if we're going to move processions away from a particular um, locus because of the threat of counter protest we are creating a heckler's charter which is entirely wrong now in this very city where i am this evening in edinburgh there was massive disruption caused to traffic in the city center by an unnotified uh, march one the, the police uh, were powerless apparently uh, to put in objections to. So we think that this is a wrong interpretation of a okay. European law. That the okay, can, can I ask, I mean, were you being deliberately um, provocative in, in organising it in, on that route on that day? Certainly not. I mean, Easter Sunday is a, an important day in the Christian calendar, not only in the Roman Catholic calendar. And as it happens, the apprentice boys of Derry were marching to divine worship in the Glasgow Evangelical Church.
which is up in the north end of the city, and the route is the most direct one uh, from uh, the southeast of Glasgow, where the Bridgeton branch of the Apprentice Boys is based. So, can I ask you a question, Mr. McLean? Do, do, do you not think that actually what's needed in here is an element of compromise on all fronts? And the problem here, actually, is that everybody's digging their heels in and saying no. Uh, no, I don't know that there's any need for a compromise. It's a fundamental right uh, to, to process uh, in a, a peaceful fashion. The, the right of peaceful public procession is enshrined Yeah, but in hang on a European second. The problem law. is that the last time it happened, it wasn't peaceful. A now, priest was no, spat I'm, on I'm, and assaulted. I'm sorry, it wasn't the last time it happened. And the time that there was the unsavoury incident concerning a uh, Canon White did not involve the apprentice boys of Derry. I'm very sorry. Different okay. organisation. Okay, can I give the last word to Jeanette? What do you think the long-term solution is to this problem? Just very briefly. If well, the long-term okay. solution to this, and, and I would reach a hand out to Mr McLean on this very holy week as one Christian to another. If the sole aim of your organisations is not to annoy Catholics, well, don't march past Catholic Church because there are there are fewer than 60 Catholic churches, churches in Glasgow and about 200 and 2,500 2, streets. So they can march quite happily, their rights have been upheld they will process on Sunday they will go from the starting point to the end point we are only a minor detail and I reach my hand out to you and say do the right thing voluntarily decide to take your marches away from Catholic churches then you will have your rights to process and we will have our rights to be free of anti-Catholic abuse that's what I ask you to do as a Christian during Holy Week no, we, we would repudiate totally the concept concept has just been enunciated here that marches by the apprentice boys of Derry result in gross abuse to parishioners in, in Roman Catholic churches. I would su suggest that that's a nonsense. This has never been drawn to our attention eh, before and on the particular incident that's causing so much worry our organisation was not involved it's not at all. one incident is it? Okay, what? we'll have to tie it up there. I think. Uh, uh, um, let's hope that, excuse me, what